but it was another explosion on the far side of one of the buildings from where we're standing. The, ver the, the reverberation and another explosion on the right-hand side. Another building has gone Another building has gone up on the right-hand side of the road. People are now running down the street. We're not sure if that was another explosion or if that was advanced debris. Oh, it's just coming down, Pat. It is just coming down. Right it's exploding. Side. It's exploding. It's just coming down. At this point, as you can tell, there's absolute pandemonium in this area because of what had just happened. Exactly what, I can't confirm, but on the far side of the building, there seemed to be another explosion. And also on the right-hand side, there was also another explosion. We're not sure if that was uh, extra reverberation from what happened at the World Trade Center or if that was an added explosion. At this point, there's a, a lot of smoke, massive plumes of smoke falling from the building across the street. People that were running down the street or walking are now running away. We don't have any information as far as what the most recent uh, reverberations were, but from two blocks away, you can feel what happened. John, uh, scene is horrific. One of the two towers literally collapsed. I was making my way to the foot of the World Trade Center. Suddenly, while talking to an officer, questioning me about my press credentials, we heard a very loud blast and explosion. We looked up, and the uh, building literally began to collapse before us. And I am now standing in a black cloud of, of, of smoke. I'm on a payphone on the street right now, and I literally cannot see more than a quarter block away. That's how thick the smoke is. I'm on Murray Street and West Broadway. So no over the head.
the people got out of the area on the sidewalks below the South Tower uh, before it came tumbling down. But it literally exploded. It came down as though it had been hit. Uh, plumes of smoke moving out into the harbor. Give you some idea where I am. I'm approximately, what, 20, 30 blocks from where this latest explosion just happened. The West seen out here just a few moments ago i'd say about 20 minutes ago we're not sure exactly what it was we have not confirmed it but something either exploded or fell off the side of the one building that was attacked and caused a massive plume of smoke
seems like a large chunk of that debris has hit a building very close by, about two blocks away next to an elementary school, causing another explosion. So as people are coming up the street, running from the scene of this new explosion, you can see them slipping on, on the uh, ash and literally having to drag each other up the street. Uh, you have to understand that when this first happened, they certainly didn't imagine that there would be second or tertiary explosions. So they parked some of their vehicles in those areas, and many of those vehicles, people in those vehicles, have lost their lives. Well, we just heard another explosion go off a couple of minutes ago, Chris, and uh, saw a bunch more people sort of running this way. A woman on her bike was, was screaming as it went off, and uh, there was a, a New York City uh, officer, he's playing clothes, walking by. into the taping that we were doing, which was maybe a half hour after, there was, a, it was an explosion, it was way up where the fire was, and the whole building at that point bellied out in flames, and everybody ran. And just uh, two or three minutes ago, there was yet another uh, collapse or explosion, but at a quarter to 11, there was... Another collapse or explosion following the 1030 collapse of the second tower. And a firefighter who rushed by estimated that 50 stories went down. Uh, the street 
Just moments ago, uh, I spoke to the chief of safety for the New York City Fire Department, who was obviously one of the first people here on the scene after those two planes were crashed into the side, we assume, of the World Trade Center towers, which used to be behind me over there. Um, chief Albert Turry told me that he was here just literally 10 or 15 minutes after the events that took place this morning. That is the first crash. Uh, the, chief of safety, the chief of safety of the uh, fire department of New York City told me that uh, after, shortly after 9 o'clock, he had roughly 10 alarms, roughly 200 men in the building trying to effect rescues of some of those civilians who were in there. Uh, and that basically he received word of the possibility of a secondary device, that is another bomb going off. Uh, he tried to get his men out as quickly as he could, but he said that there was another explosion which took place. And then an hour after the first hit here with the first crash that took place, he said, uh, there was a, another explosion that took place uh, in one of the towers here. Uh, so obviously, he, according to his theory, he thinks that there were actually devices that were planted in the building. One of the secondary devices he thinks that took place after the initial impact was, he thinks, may have been on the plane that crashed into one of the towers. The second device he thinks he speculates, was probably planted in the building. Uh, so that's what we have been told by uh, Albert Turry, who is the uh, chief of safety for the New York City Fire Department. He told me that just moments ago. But the bottom line is that according to the chief of safety of the New York City Fire Department, he says that he probably lost a great many men in those secondary explosions. And he said that there were literally hundreds, if not thousands of people in those two towers when the explosions took place. He 